Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Tommy Flowers, born on December 22, 1905, in Poplar, London, England, was a pioneering British engineer and computer scientist who played a pivotal role in the development of the world's first programmable electronic computer. His contributions during World War II, particularly his work on the Colossus computer, had a profound impact on code-breaking efforts and laid the groundwork for the future of computing. Flowers grew up in a working-class family and displayed an early aptitude for engineering. He pursued his education at the University of London, studying engineering at night while working as an apprentice during the day. This dual commitment to academics and practical experience shaped Flowers' engineering prowess. I in the 1930s, Flowers joined the British Telecommunications Company, the General Post Office, GPO. His early work involved the development of telephone switching systems, showcasing his innovative approach to engineering challenges. Flowers' expertise in electronics and telecommunications became increasingly apparent, setting the stage for his involvement in groundbreaking projects. The outbreak of World War II marked a turning point in Flowers' career. Recognizing the need for advanced code-breaking capabilities, he became a key figure in the development of the Colossus computer at Bletchley Park. The Colossus was designed to decipher encrypted German messages, and Flowers led the team responsible for its construction and maintenance. Flowers' groundbreaking work on the Colossus represented a leap forward in computing technology. It was the world's first programmable electronic computer utilizing vacuum tubes for high speed data processing. The Colossus played a crucial role in deciphering complex codes used by the German military significantly contributing to Allied intelligence efforts during the war. Despite the importance of his contributions, Flowers and his team's work remained shrouded in secrecy for many years due to the classified nature of their endeavors. The Colossus project was dismantled after the war, and Flowers returned to the General Post Office. I in the post-war years, Flowers continued to make significant contributions to the field of computing. His work on electronic telephone exchanges and the development of the Lions Electronic Office, LEO, the world's first business computer, solidified his status as a pioneer in the emerging field of computing. Flowers' legacy endures in the evolution of computing technology. His innovative work laid the foundation for the development of electronic computers, shaping the trajectory of the digital age. In recognition of his contributions, Tommy Flowers received various awards and honours, including the Commander of the Order of the British Empire, CBE. Tommy Flowers' life and work exemplify the intersection of engineering ingenuity and wartime necessity. His role in the development of the Colossus and subsequent contributions to computing technology underscore the transformative power of innovation, especially in the face of challenges. Flowers' legacy lives on in the electronic devices and computer systems that have become integral to modern life, a testament to his enduring impact on the field of technology.